Hi guys, Justin here, and today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Marmot Tungsten Ultralight 2 tent. The Tungsten Ultralight 2 is a relatively new backpacking tent in the game, and you may be surprised at how it stacks up against the industry staples. If you're interested in a tent and, and other gear reviews, click the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated. Welcome back, let's get right into it. I've been using the Tungsten Ultralight 2 for the past year and have approximately 20 nights spent in it. Marmot released a tent in spring of 2017 with the goal of producing a tent that is spacious, durable, and intuitive. It has the best space to weight ratio of any of their freestanding tents, and in their words, gives the feeling of big living in the woods. The Marmot Tungsten Ultralight takes approximately two minutes to set up and is fairly easy for one person. Marmot uses a classic A-frame tent pole configuration with a space adding crossbar. All right, so let's go through some of the specs for this tent. It's freestanding, weighs 1.6 kilograms, has two doors, two vestibules. The floor shape is asymmetrical. The floor width at the head is 137 centimeters. The floor width at the end is 117 centimeters. And the total length of the tent is 224 centimeters. The floor area is three square meters. The fly material is made out of 20D sil poly, silicone polyester, and it has one vent, on, one big vent on the top here. It has 10 total tie outs and costs $300 US. So it comes in one color, this lovely greenish yellow that we got here, and is comparable to the popular MSR Hubba Hubba. It has the si very similar features, but the Tungsten Ultralight 2 is lighter, bigger, and has the Sil Poly fly. It's also less expensive than the $450 US MSR Hubba Hubba. some pros and cons with this tent. The vestibules are actually not the same size. The one on the opposite side here is twice the size as this smaller one on this side. I don't know why Marmot did that. They should have just made the vestibules the same size. So we talked about the silicone polyester fly here. This is actually a pretty big deal. Silicone polyester doesn't stretch like silicone nylon does. So when it's raining and this fly is wet, you're not gonna get the sagging that you sometimes see with a silk nylon fly. And because of that, the fact that there's no tie-outs on the side bottoms here isn't as big of a deal. I would have liked to see tie-outs anywhere just to pull this out from the tent um, when it's raining, but I've, I've used this tent in the rain a bunch of times and it hasn't been an issue yet. The vent, the vent here is great, it's big, it, lets in a lot of air, circulates here well, and I haven't had any problems with condensation yet. So let's get this fly off and look at some of the features of the inner tent. inner tent it has a nice no 20d mesh the downside is that the mesh makes this tent fairly cold um, when the temperatures drop so I, I would never use this tent for winter camping it's purely a three season tent for me the bathtub floor here is a 30d sil nylon so it's not the sil polyester like the fly and it's quite durable and has really high bathtub a bathtub floor I haven't had any problems with splash up coming in during the rain or under the fly. This backed up floor really protects the tent and that's and that's great. Um, there's no interior pockets with this tent, which is kind of strange, but it does have a light uh, dissipation pocket up here. So you can stick your headlamp in that, broadens out the light, acts as a, as a little lamp. A ton of interior space in this tent. That's what Marmot designed this tent to have. The big reason why it feels bigger than it actually is, is because of these pre-bent poles. So you can see 
the bend right here. The pre-bent poles really pull the tent away from your head when you're laying down and adds a lot of space for the tent. So the main selling feature of this tent for me was the spaciousness. With the pre-bent poles here and the mesh, this tent feels really big. You can easily fit two standard size 20 inch sleeping pads in here as I have right now and even two large size sleeping pads with that 25 inch width would have no problems fitting in this tent. Headroom, you can see sitting in the middle here, lots of headroom. Even once I get to the end, and this is this is a great part of this tent, I can be sitting up right in the end and I'm just hitting my head here. When I'm laying down, lots of head space above me. That was one of the problems I had with some other ultralight backpacking tents. I'd lay down and the, the side of the tent would be inches from my face, which was really uncomfortable. All the zippers on this tent work really well. They're, they are ultralight zippers, so you do need to be a little bit delicate with them. Um, but I haven't had any problems with snagging. I chose this tent because of its spaciousness, weight, and durability without sacrificing ease of use. If this is something that you're looking for in a backpacking tent, then the Tungsten Ultralight 2 is definitely a tent you should be looking at. If you have any questions about this tent, leave them in the comments section below. I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. There are more reviews coming, so if you're interested in this kind of content, hit the subscribe button below and then click the little bell so you get notified when a new video comes up. I hope you guys are as excited about the upcoming summer hiking season as I am, and I'll see you next time.